Good morning and welcome back to Sunrise. Do you know someone who just radiates happiness, someone who is always smiling? Does that person make everyone else's day just a little bit brighter? We want to share the stories of those people to spread a little more positivity. So starting today, every other Saturday here on WTHR Weekend Sunrise, we'll introduce you to a ray of sunshine. We know life isn't all sunshine and rainbows every single day. So today we start by showing you a teeny tiny glimmer of hope on a gray dark day. On March 18th at 3.04. Three months before her due date in 2016, Josie came into this world. She weighed one pound, 14 ounces. She was doing good. Um, she did need like a breathing tube and that. So she did good up until her two week point and that's when she got sick. Josie's mother, Patricia Swiger, remembers every single little detail, her room number. 6218, like 18's a big number for her. The first time she held Josie. She just like, was on my chest. She was like moving her hand like on my chest. And the night Josie's life took a turn. The doctor said like one's a dying baby and a ten's a baby going home and Josie was a two at that point. And so I think that's like what it hit us that we might be losing home. One morning before returning to see Josie, Patricia received a call from the hospital. I just like sat at the edge of the bed and started screaming for Mark. Her husband Mark rushed them to the NICU here at Community Hospital North. They watched as doctors worked to keep Josie alive. Her heart stopped beating on April 5th. Once her heart stopped, it never beat on its own again. 18 days after she was born, Patricia and Mark asked why their baby had to die. They felt heartache and anger. They harbored doubts. Then they discovered how a short 18 days can impact others for a lifetime. There's a reason she was here for 18 days, and that's what God wanted for her. In 2017, the Schreiger family started Josie's Impact. Patricia and Mark want people to pay it forward in memory of Josie, especially during the 18 days she was alive. It's unbelievable how far it's gone in these two years. Two years of Josie's impact sees more than 4,000 acts of kindness, fresh flowers, big tips, coffee cards, gas cards, sweet treats, not just here in Indiana, but all over Tennessee, Texas, Georgia, Virginia. Some people in Jamaica had gotten the card. There's one in the hot dog stand in Florida. She's reached and more people than like me or my husband could ever reach by ourselves. To make this world a better place, however, um, you know, small of an impact that, that it really is, I guess, ultimately, but um, it's just amazing. Patricia and Mark believe Josie shines down from heaven and casts rays of joy. They know she makes people smile. And she protects her little brother, Gray Joseph. With Gray, I want him to be able to be happy and to know that Josie made a difference and he can be a part of that. Josie's mother, Patricia, says it seems like those cards make it into the right hands. Josie's impact touched a mother who also lost a child. After she visited her son's grave, she found that card on her car. We want to know who's a ray of sunshine in your life. Michael Florence reached out to us and introduced us to Angela Hopper. She's a legal collections attorney at Simon Property Group. Michael says Angela is a breath of fresh air and she never seems to have a bad day. She encourages and praises her co-workers and even routinely buys them Starbucks. When we reached out to Angela for a picture, she said Michael is the amazing co-worker and is always smiling. If someone's face pops into your head, please email me at Alyssa Raymond at WTHR.com. We'd love to share their sunny disposition with Central Indiana.